Welcome to the main event, the Battle of Undefeated para sa ating huling serye dito ngayong ating uh, ikaanin na linggo. Tama. First day as well of Lakam Bini. Kami pa rin ang inyong casters, Tupe and Yakuron. Yon, Parehas undefeated na naman na maglalaban dito. Magkakabahiran na tayo ng talo ngayong araw na to. And this is the main event of the evening! Eto na! Ano yun? Eto na, itong gabi na to. Ibibigay na lahat ng dalawang team. Smart Omega Empress versus Gentle Giants FE. Ang ating laban, parehas 8-0. Are you not entertained? Eto na ang laban nila. And sa lahat ng pinelians natin dyan, siyempre, please keep on sharing the stream. At lalo-lalo na sa mga nanonood sa YouTube, you better subscribe sa channel natin. Dahil hindi mo masasabi kung kailan tayo magpapamigay na naman ng mga surpresa para sa inyo. Yeah. Hindi And... pwedeng ano, yung, <coughs> excuse me po, yung kakabunot lang, <laughs> kasi ka magsusubscribe. Makikita ho kasi namin yan. Kung 10 seconds ago, or kakasubscribe nyo lang nung nabunot kayo. Kailangan at least 30 minutes, 1 hour na kayo nakasubscribe nung nabunot kayo, di ba? Oo, and uh, syempre, ano, naglolo ko ngayon yung Facebook Live. So sa YouTube tayo magsama-sama para mapanood nyo ng matiwasay at maayos yung ating live stream. Tama! Ayan. <laughs> Tama! Inuubo pala yung kalabaw eh, no? Oo, inuubo rin yan. Pero di napapagod! Oo, oh, ayos. Ano yung kalabaw, di napapagod, mm. na? Pero inuubo! Ganon. <laughs> <laughs> okay lang ubuhin. Basta huwag susuko, di ba? Ayun, oh, ayun. Ganon lang ayos. dapat, di ba? Amen! Amen! Amen. Ganon lang dapat. Yahoo! Inip... Di ba? Are you not entertained? No. <laughs> Ganon lang ho, di ba? So, sa buhay, mapapagod pero di susuko, di ba? Ayun, Sabihan mo, ah. Ayos? Ayos. Ayos. I love Pinel. Mm. Mm -hmm. Di ba? I love Pinel. Ikaw, love mo ba Pinel? Maganda naman tayo, eh. Tinatanong, Tinatanong kita. Tinatanong pa ba yan? Assurance natin. lang, di ba? Oh, oh. oh. Ba babae ka, ah. Ayan, oh. Assurance Ayos. lang. Okay, gina tayo. Ayan. Game number one between um, Omega, Smart Omega Empress and Gentle Giants FE. Eto na, this is it. Mainit-init yung laban nila dito, ha? Oo. Uh -huh. Pati kami dito sa likod. Talagang na ano kami, naiintriga kami kung sino talaga yung mananalo. Mm -hmm. Dahil nga, parehas undefeated. So we are expecting an explosive gameplay for the both teams. And parehas na rin matindi ang mga pangalan nila. Talaga na patunayan na dito sa female division, di ba? Tama. And um, alam naman natin itong orgs na to Solid organization din to uh -huh. Smart Omega Empress. So we know the Smart Omega. Uh, ang barangay, Omega. Yon. Central Giants FE. Even their male team is known sa buong amateur scene. Tama. Oh, parang ano, no? Gamitin ko kaya ito pag ano, no? Mga concert, no? <laughs> Tapos ganito, no? Oh, who's behind the mask? Ayan, no? Kaso, chan pa lang. Alam mo na, eh. <laughs> Hindi mo makakaila, eh. Huwag eh, mong dadalan yung belt bag mo. Oo, oh, iiwan ko to. Iiwan mo. Ayan, nantayin nyo sa 2023. Oh. Mas lalaki pa yan. <laughs> Wala na. <laughs> Hindi na mo natin mapapangako, lilit yan. Huwag na mo tayo maglokohan, no? Kaya, kaya naman sa ano, pare, sa workouts, pero... Wala. Puro work tayo, walang workouts. Oo, oh, wala. 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 puro work. Matagal pa yung out natin. Matagal pa yung out. So, workout sa kanya yan, mas maganda na detrain yung utak natin. Yeah. Yun, di ba? Ayan na. At in terms of training their um, minds and uh, uh -huh. strategy right now, Yun. the bands are more on utilities. Sige, sino ba yung mga bands? Smart Omega removed the Digi uh -huh. together with the Eve and then Gentle Giants removed the Faramis and then they removed the 1-1. One 1-1 one. One, one Faramis tapos may Eve tayo natanggal may Digi pa. Oo. Oh. So, um, usual sa Smart Omega Empress, nakita ko na lagi nilang binaban yung Digi dito. Mm -hmm. On their last series, napansin ko kasi, um, they are trying to beat out that uh, the, um, napapalabas sila na dito, nagagamit sila ng mga control type heroes. Um, like an Akai, and also using a Yuzong. Ganun yung mga pinapalabas sila. However, it's a different setup pag picking na nila. Mm -hmm. Ang nangyayari sa kamla dito, they are more on to um, continuous crowd control. The Ruby... Fredrin combination ginawa na ng um, Omega yon. Tapos meron pa silang kasama na additional which is also um, a Valentina on their side. Mm -hmm. So nagiging 3-man rotation yung ginagawa nila. Tapos from time to time, simula ano nakita ko sila nakasama nila dito yung coach nila, 
Hindi nawawala sa banning nila yung Diki lagi. Yeah, tama. And uh, well, talking about the open heroes right now, uh -huh. uh, they took advantage of the opening of the Kaja kasi huling bans natin ay Martis and Ligaya. Yun. Valentina is available so it's not uh -huh. impossible for Gentle Giants and uh, probably they traded it eh. No? Uh -huh. uh, binigay nila yung Kaja kung kuha sila ng Valentina dito uh -huh. at pwede din silang mauna with the Leo Mord. Yeah, Leo Mord is also one of the best artilleries that uh, you can use right now. Especially for jungling. Ang sakit kasi talaga ng Leo Mord eh. Um, kanina hindi natin nasaksihan, hindi tayo nagkaroon ng chance kasi lagi na si Banning Section. No? Mm -hmm. So uh, this time magkakabigayan, nagkaroon ng trade-down dito between Smart Omega and also Uy. Gentle Giants. So, ano yung hero na yun? Well, may Layla. Layla? Oo. Seryoso ba yan? Nag Gentle Giants actually went for a Layla at nagnana. Seryoso ba yung peaking na yan? Ba? Iba well, to ha. Layla? Para, as, as, as strong and undefeated uh -huh. team na Omega. Tapos lalabasan mo ng ganito. Layla ay nana. Ba? Uh -huh. Exper experiment ba? Ano ba to? Totoo ba? Well, kung totoo, um, hmm. Ang hirap naman iyan na niyan, i-predict niyan. Oo, oh, eto to, meta picks ang kinuha naman ng Omega. Uh -huh. They went for a Leo Mord and also a Beatrix. Okay. Leo Mord and Beatrix. Eh diyan nakasagad ng first three nila, may Kaja, Leo Mord, Beatrix, no? And oo, oh, and the base uh, dito, sa back end, okay. Oo, oh, oh, totoo daw to. So, they are good. Leila and Nana? Mm -mm, Leila and Nana. Seryoso? Well, first first <laughs> pick, seryoso. Okay, tingnan natin to. Uh, <laughs> Leila and Nana. Kahit siguro yung nagsa-shoutout sa Pinal, hindi kayang yan. yan. I-analyze yan. O, at eto. Mm. Dahil wala yung Digi, tinik advantage ng Gentle Giants ang kawalan ng Digi para kuhanin ang Pugita. Ano yun? Atlas. Oo, Atlas. So, mm. they, uh, so I think they want, they want the Molina Blitz and Fatal Links combo. Sakit nga rin nun, no? Burst type tapos saka Magic Worship dito yung Nana. Mm. Well, mm, let's see. Um, kasi walang up. mobility dito yung Lele. Ah, uh, may lang inaalala ko dito. Pwede silang magano pa eh. Pwede silang uh, Matilda? Matilda kasi may Valentina na. Unless mm -hmm. pwede nilang i-side or jungle Valentina. Pwede ba? Valentina, may, pa yung, Valentina si may Valentina sila. Open pa yung Valentina kasi mm. after this ban kung hindi to ibaba ng Omega, pick ulit di ba ng Gentle Giants. Mm, yeah. Well, um Lila, lacking of mobility, damage output ang hirap din. Natatandaan mo ba nung unang laban ng Omega, binan nila yung Ma Mia. Oh, so, ayaw nila na Mia. Oh, dito pala may makakalaban silang Lila. Talaga siguro ano, takot sila sa mga anong hero ano, yung mga OG na hero. Oo. Oh, oh. Kaya ganoon may OG phobia ba sila? Malay natin kanina pinag-uusapan lang natin yung uh, yung uh, yung sayo kanina, mm -hmm. uh, Vampire, Alucard. Alucard, no? Alucard, no? Um Queen Swings, oh, tapos Dima Layo. Oh, well, malayo. we have the um The Grok Farsa ban, Akai as well being banned by Omega here. Uh -huh. Final ban na natin bago tayo tumungo sa last phase Your of uh, picking. Um, so Akai is banned already? Akai is okay. being banned by Omega itself together with... Um, okay, nagbano rin pa sila. Naninigurado sila dito. Aba, well, hindi ko talaga para isipan tong Leila na to ha. <laughs> para so ulit din, nung magugulat, so... undefeated team. Pero may kinas na ako dati na top 4 uh, Leila siya. Okay. Ginamit niya ng championship at na, yun yung naging ano nila, hero nila para mapanalo yung late game. Ang maganda lang kasi ng mga sasalila, no? Um, pag tumama yung um, uh, tawag dito yung first skill niya, hahaba yung range niya. Oo. Oh, oh. So yun yung maganda. And additional mobility rin para sa kanya. Tama. O, oh, hmm. ito na. Pick, a fourth pick for the Gentle Giants FA. Sino ba yung ipapartner nila dito sa napakaganda nilang rumor na, uh, na Atlas? Mm -hmm. no, they have the Nana and the Layla already. Uh -huh. So, paano kaya nila irarun tong uh, offense na to? Look in your phone. Ang galing, ha? Nana Layla. Nag-a-analyze pa ako kanina sa isip ko nung hindi ko nakikita. Lapo-lapo ba? Kanina pa ako nagbibigil ng tao. Nung Valentina nga kanina. Kaya pala, nagtataka ako. Nung Valentina nga kanina, nadalas na ako. Oo, kaya ka nagtataka ako nung sabi ko, Matilda. May Valentina sila, sabi mo. Nadalas na ako. Ang galing, ha? Ang galing. Nag-a-analyze pa ako. Buti na lang nagtanggal ako. Ang sarap nga pakinggan ng analysis mo eh. Gusto kong marinig yung paano mo i-build up yung lila. Number one, huwag kang magtiwala sa kanila. Huwag kang magtiwala sa partner mo. Lalo na kung nakilala mo lang ng March. Ha? Ayun. Iniisip ko pa talaga kanina. Hindi ko lang. Ko la Mahina lang talaga ako sa ganun pagpigil ng tao. Layla na na. Layla na na. Tapos meron kang Atlas. Tapos paano mo ipupull off yun, no? Pa magic worship, magic worship pa ako kanina. Tapos first time na na na. Oh, no, 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 pala pinagsasabi ko. Pinagsatawa na siguro ako dito. Ayan na. 
Nagpipigil na sila ng tao. <laughs> Last pick! Ito, totoo na to. Nakikita ko na yung mga picking. Esmeralda, Lunox, for the uh, side of uh, Omega. Pero ito tama, yung uh, talagang ano. Kita mo? They are always banning Diggy. Binapalabas kasi lagi ng Omega nga dito. Binibate out nila nung, na when it comes to picking, nakukuha sila ng mga hard control hero. Mm. Pero isa lang yung hard control nila. It's just Kaja at suppress pa na hindi kaya kontrahin ng Diggy. Yeah, hindi kaya kontrahin ng, uh, ng diba? Diggy. And though, ito yung nami siguro ng, ano, ng Gentle Giants. Uh, Nailan na na. They're planning for the uh, Lapula. They, they, they have the Lapula po, but the pula -pula. They, they, let, uh, they let go of an Esmeralda na natural counter ng isang... Uh, Lapula po ngayon. Nakikita na natin yung trend na to. Uh, at isa pa, nakita mo kagad yung response ng uh, Omega Empress. After they took the Esmeralda, they, may, uh, they took the Lunox as well. Mm -hmm. Kasi, pwede pang mag-react kanina. Itong, uh, ano, kung tutuusin. Itong mm -hmm. kampo ng uh, Gentle Giants, right? Tama. But, uh, ko again, eh. this, is a, this is a very good uh, uh, lineup for uh, Omega Empress. Pag nakuha nila yung combo na to, Lunox and Kaja. Mm -hmm. ba? Diba? Lunox and Kaja, matutunaw sino mang mahatak lalo may, lalo na't may base sa likuran and they could get the space that they need this is a Liam more than uh, an Esmeralda tama so yun uh, let's see talaga naglolo ko parang yung Facebook no? naglolo, naglolo ko talaga Ay, tayo no. na lang talaga mga gwapong loyal ang di naglolo ganun talaga <laughs> wala tayong magagawa dyan kahit anong barigtan nyo sa mundo hmm. eh, hindi talaga maglolo ko ayan so tingnan lang natin dito bisa tayo natin yung YouTube natin ayun at magkakasama for the first time ang Gentle Giants ha Oo, no? Dati si Moonfang nakahiwalay. Oo, ngayon kasama uh -oh. na. Naba, mas maganda communication nila. Uh Oo. -oh. Talaga pinaghandaan na sobra. Pinaghandaan. Same goes with Omega. Yun. Magkakasama na sila. Here we go, ladies Yun. and gentlemen. Welcome to the Land of Dawn. Uh -huh. Smart Omega Empress laban sa Gentle Giants. The Battle of the Undefeated. Yon, ito na. Ma lupit, lupit, mainit, init na laban dito. OMG Empress. Here are the members. We have Merai. Na maraming ace na pangalan niya. Warikadja, Shinoa. With the Bea, KC. With the Liumor, Baby. Para sa kanyang Esmeralda. And si Amor, the Merrier. Para naman sa kanyang Luna. Aba, you could see ah. Ka hindi po muna yata nag-roam yung Kadja. Kumuha ka agad siya ng XP dito para makapag-level 2. And look at that, both of them wow. has that punishment. Those are the rotations wow. that you're not gonna see every day. Wow, Omega Empress. Okay ba yung wow ko? Oo. Yung wow! 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 Madalas, mag mar <laughs> madalas madal marinig yan. Oo, oh, kaya nga ginagaya ko eh. At ayun, OMG Empress right now are really impressing their supporters because of the distribution of experience na ginawa kanina. Ring of Order, tapos meron pa siya mga uh, Bolt Assault dito. Ayun, ngayon pa lang siya nag-grow mo. Tama. Halos ngayon pa lang siya nag-grow. And now, they are actually um, aggressive on invasion kasi nga may dash na itong uh, si Meray. Tama. He could afford to do this and Nat and Ayami joining the fight. 4v3 situation sa Aray. purple. And still, nakuha pa naman ni keyboard ang kanyang uh, purple. Pero na ano, na-compromise dito na sobra. Ha? Si, uh, mawag ko na si... Um, Uh, si keyboard no mm -hmm. sa so, kanyang uh, gusyon dito and the mana has been already burned out for Zujin so uh, mapapauwi ito mga force out in a more as uh, um, advantage and now Casey look at that Moonfang is being zoned out away para hindi mahirapan si Sinoa at yung gold trading natin makuha na maaga may corrosive strike sige para makadepensa pero ang sakit din talaga ng ganti sa kanya na divert pa yung oh, attention niya half of the third gold plating are being maximized by Sinoa kaya lamang mm -hmm nalamang na itong kampo ng OMG eh. pero ang katanungan dyan wala na yung Phantom Steed ng isang Liam Ward ni Keishi Tama. kaya ba niyang sumabay sa isang uh, Gushon dito sa Turtle Fight eto na naman sinabayan na naman ng maaga pero ang sakit, sakit ng Bronta uy, uy, uy. bang munti ka na pero hindi kinaya at nabiti pa dito si Amor talagang babalik pa para makuha yung level 4 tayo sakto na nakapag-recall pa nabuhay pa may Turtle Objective na nakinukuha ako na miyembro para dito sa EGGFE ready ready para dito sa Kumontra na OMG oh, oh, pero na Natanayami already using that bravest fighter so there will be no more threat sa may backline Tama. hindi na to ganun ka-aggressive pero mukhang tinidelay pa nila to ng onte kasi nga mabilis lang yung cooldown nun eh uh -huh. anytime ready na ulit yan Amor as well is ready for that chaos assault and uh -huh. look at the confidence divine oh, judgment no. hinatak agad yung Pilipino pero nabuhay pa rin dito with the flicker fatal links against you nahatok nahatak rather ito kampo ng OMG and Ay. OMG -E. Losing three members, kasama pa si Keishi. And even the Lunox right now, trying to breathe hard against all the members of Gentle Giants FE. What a perfect execution. What a perfect counter-initiation with that mainit 
na flicker and setup ni Kaping Malamig. Grabe, ikaw ba naman talaga mahatok eh? Hindi mo mabuhay Oo, ka ba? Oo, nakakalatok eh. Nakakalatok, binatok batukan. Apat na miyembro agad na wala dito para sa OMG Empress. That was actually a bad call for Meray. Kasi alam mo dito na meron mga fatal links, meron ba tayo nga um, gaya ng Divine Judgment from that Valentina. Much better kasi dito na kunin mo is yung um, it's either you have a chance to get that Gushon or kunin mo dito yung setup hero nila. Yeah. Para maaga ma uh, ma-take down agad. They're trying to capitalize uh, the absence of the Bravest Fighter from the Lapu-Lapu. Mm -hmm. Pero hindi nila in-anticipate na ganun din kabilis magre-react si Kaping Malamig. Pero eto na, malamig na bang kay na rin ang Atlas ni Kaping Malamig matapos or makuha ng mga members dito ng OMG but that's okay as long as they will be able to play defense here oh no, no unfortunately they can't Hindi there are four na. members here trying to trade that turtle into an immediate push mm. mula sa Omega Empress kaya Tama. kahit ganoon ang nangyari lamang pa rin sila sa gold Tama OMG still impressing us here dahil sila pa rin ng lamang uh, nagsimula kasi sa jungle kanina compromising the um, Gushon here that's because of the presence of Meray together with more on that uh, purple pit position pero ito position na naman yung dalawang member magkakasama pa may gaya tayo ng Valentina mula doon sa Kaja talagang anytime dito pag may nakuha takedown na maaga pero maganda rin yung reaction na pinapakita ng OMG sa kanila hindi basta-basta lumalabas sa mapa kasi alam nila anytime around meron yeah. yung setup dito at right at yun yung talagang gagawin ayun yung hinahanap ko sa mga Kaja user sa Lakambini tago dapat nakatago lagi yes you wanna cap uh, you wanna maximize oh, that no. uh, ring of orders Shh, pero nila, yung kawalan uh, oh eto na may ipit siya yung naging victim of fatal links incandescent play oh! and the crows uh, that uh, the abyss strike coming from keyboard siya yung, uh, uh, yung kikitil sa esmeralda pero may bawi din na xp hmm. etong uh, omega empress Tama. and they're not just gonna get a kill they will convert it into another turret push. Tama, ang dami ng mga bala dito. Binabaon talaga ni Shinoa sa kanila. Like pa si Shizuka, daing daing na dito. At ngayon sinubi na kuwantuwa na talaga. Napapos na dito na maaga yung OMG. May problema ata sila. Pero yung GGFE na wala na naman ata ng Torres sa baba. Oo. Uh, GGFE trying to get the gold back. Look at that. Uh, less than 1,000 na yung kalamangan na lang ng uh, Omega Empress. Uh -huh. Actually, ganyan talaga yan. Hindi naman pala lumayo ng todo. Uh, yung tor yung Tori yung pinakababantayan dapat dito ng GGFE. Kasi Tama. parang um, they're being killed softly eh. Mm. Parang inaan sila, pinapakuluan sila dito mm -hmm. eh. Unti-unti no? sila binubutasan at yung spacing kinukuha sa kanila. Um, you can take, uh, what I call this, uh, you're, you're, going, uh, you're going to take the turrets anytime um, kaysa sa turtle dito. Kasi turtle, experience and also the shield mo kukuha mo. May gold kayo kahit pa paano pero distributed yun. At the same time, Tori mo kukuha mo spacing jungle control, tapos mo kuha mo rin itin confidence sa map kasi alam mo na hindi nababantay at hindi nalabas dito yung mga side laners yeah, doon. Kasi in terms of weighing in those objectives, mm -hmm. uh, turtle, magkakaroon pa ng second and third turtle at pwede uh -huh. mo ma-compensate yan with kills and of yeah. course other jungle. Tama. Pero yung tori ninyo, parang yung mga, eh. para mga ex nyo. Hindi nababalik. Hindi nababalik yan. Tama. Parang yung mga ex nyo niloko kayo. Oo. Hindi na, babalik yan pag may kailangan sa inyo. Sobrang lakas na. Ang, ang ano nun, ang tigas na nun. Ang tigas na nun. Niloko ka na, tapos baka kikipagbalikan. Oo, oh, diba? So, hindi na babalik yun. Mm -hmm. Ganun na ganun ho. So now, a pause has been requested for a side of OMG. And this game gets interesting as it gets, it gets longer. Feeling ko, habang tayo ng at least 20 minute mark bago matapos sa laban. Sa tingin ko din, uh, 20, more than 20 minutes. Uh -huh. Kasi nga, um, kaya, pang, kaya din ano eh, kaya din kumuha ng sarili nilang play. Look at uh -huh. that, the bush game earlier. Incandescence play. Yung, yung uh, incandescence play na ginawa kanina uh, na itong uh, gusho ng Gentle Giants. And then, uh -huh. of course, uh, the play as well of the Kaja and Lunox. They're always waiting sino man yung mapadaan sa gitna. So, sa tingin ko, yun din yung naging ano eh, naging uh, ano, yung Esmeralda, nakita mo nakatakas pa siya ng onte. Uh -huh. uh, pero, uh, sa sobrang dami nga ng atake na na-absorb niya and then the, the range as well, na nalak na, nung Brody ay uh, napatay pa rin siya. Pero na nakita natin na nag-react siya ng onte eh. Uh -huh. Ibig sabihin, naramdaman niya na wala, walang dumadaan dun sa kadya. It means na, Nagtatago itong mga to. Oo, oh, oh, nag-ano yung nag-hesitate din siya dun eh. Oo. Oh. Pero ang ginawa niya, nag-frost moon shield siya agad. Mm -hmm. Tapos dumiretso siya sa brush. Pero ang problema, so much damage yung nasukop niya dun. Hindi so, kinakinaya talaga. Yeah. It all boils down. It boils down. Ayan. <laughs> Ayan. Siyempre sa mga visions na pwede nilang makuha muna. Pero mm -hmm. ang mission ngayon ng uh, Omega Empress ay tanggalin yung mga tarangkahan ng Gentle Giants. Same goes with Gentle Giants. They reacted immediately, getting their first push on sa may top lane. Meanwhile, OMGE, hindi namin gagawing patas yan kasi meron din kaming turret push kagad sa may ibaba. So, Shinoa already have two turret push with multiple turret gold plating. It means 
in terms of firepower, lamang na lamang siya dito sa matchup nila ni Moon Fang. Tama. That's how you utilize sa Nibiro ng isang uh, Bea talaga. Kunin mo yung gold lady, take Bush down ng turrets, pero ito, Bush game talaga. Ito, depensahan, papakita. Bennett dito, nag-aabang na. Eh, Phoebe, iba yung magiging victim, ha? Ito yung maganda talaga pag high caliber team, eh, no? Mm -hmm. Talaga merong patience talaga. Oy, well the ball, boy! Oy, naku, delikado yung mga member natin dito. Tayo na nahuli si Vivi na wala na namin ka. May mga buwan pa nagkalat sa mga baba. Pero delikado, nagsama sila. Yung posit natin na yun na. Nagkipugita na talaga. Inihaw pa. At si Moonfang dito, kinagat na. Ito yung gantihan na nga, eh. GGF, ibabalik pa ba? Dalawa sa dalaway naging palitan. Ang problema nga lang ng GGF, eh. Yung jungle nila yung naapi dito ng OMG, eh. That was a good bait out. Phoebe is the one who can afford to do that. Yeah. Total, ako na yung nabubugbog. So, ako na yung papasyal dito. And the good reaction from Merai for them to get the trade that maipit itong si Keyboard Warrior. And Casey, she was so patient. So patient on that situation. She waited na maubos yung resources ng GGFE bago siya pumasok. Pero pinasok na naman si Moonfang. Oh, Inahabol no. ng kabayo. Tigidig, tigidig ba. talaga. At si Kapeng Malamig, hindi na umabot pa. Tama, hindi mahilig sa ice coffee. Kaya nagpalpitate yung kalaban nila. And Kapeng Malamig dito. Naku, nag-aantay pa ng aalayan niya. Nakita naman siya ni Phoebe dito. Nakapwesto na maganda. Pero hindi maganda yung resulta Kasi nalate nga siya kay Moonfang kanina. Eto na naman yung pwesto ng mga miyembro. Consilte na naman. Na maaga. Na 10 bits nga lang. Ikaw lang nanabili. Fatal Link. Sagunay ka sa tatlo. Ah, uh, yung purple na punta nga lang doon sa Valentina. Bigla na mula yung mga kampo nila Meray. At tutumba yung kanilang agila na kaadya. Oh, the flicker land shakers. Shaking things out for Shinoa. Shinoa goes down to casualty from OMG. Eto na yung bawi ng mga higante. Hmm, eto naman si Casey nag Abang dito na maganda pa itong si tinawag na si Moonfang. Uy, na-cancel! Ang magiging biktima, at ayun na! Nahuli pa! Kung hindi ka dumakancel, pero dinulak na yung Valentin na Zuji na wala na nililis na rin siya, pero ito na napunta na sa GGFE. That's actually the sacrificial death para dito sa Valentin na ni Zuji. Inalay na lang niya yung katawan niya para makuha pa rin nila yung turtle. Kasi Tama. may threat pa rin ni Meray. Lalo yeah. na wala yata yung... Hindi, nandun yata yung retry ni, uh, ni Keyboard Warrior. But you saw the threat of a Leomord even though Sobra. he's alone with this power spike. Five kills already. Nakakatakot to. Hindi lang siya pang clean up. Kaya niya mag-initiate through the use of the momentum plus the Phantom Seed. He Sapat could na. clean out everything from Gentle Giants FE. Tama. Um, sobrang main target ito. Moonfang together with Sujin. And even not Ayanami, oh! Renner sa pati, ang katikati. Eto na, balik nila Phoebe together with Casey. Ayan na. So, um, five-man rotation again. On to the middle lane. Parang brawl yung ating laban. Yung pagkita, nagpakita, delikado siya dito. Ay, namang ispata na. Pouring Star Moon, pero may mga bomba. Half damage, 50%. Nag-seal pa. Kaya yun ang katakas siya with the perfect match dito. Nag-wall pa. Kaya nakaligtas pa yung pagkita. Good thing she did not use the perfect match. Buti. Go in. Usually, kasi yung iba ginagamit pa pasok yun eh. Pero hindi niya ginamit. Alam niya na anytime na maambo siya, magagamit niya yung perfect match to divide the damage. Tama. Divided kanina. Kaya yung Bennett's Rage dito, hindi nagalit na sobra sa kanya. Napakalma pa. At ngayon, next objective is the Lord. Hindi natin nakikita dito na ano eh. Most of them are just compiling for a team fight here sa middle lane natin. Uh -huh. Doon kasi may magandang pwesto sila parehas. Parang ito, Divine Judgment, hinuskahan na. Bomba may flicker pa. Pero ito na yung passive na limor natin with the Phantom Steed pa. Si Casey and Tomege dito sa Pugita na makulit kanina pa. Kanina ka pa eh. Binalikan mo pa. At syempre ito yung problema Ay, ng Jetta Giants hanggat hindi makunat yung Pugita. Papasok yung Lapu-Lapu pero biglang namulat. Nabura. Gentle Giants F is losing two members immediately. Because they are being outpatient. Tama eh, no, masyado na, nagigigil. Nagigil sila doon. Pilit nilang pinipilit yung pagpasok. At para, sa, naiintindihan ko, naiinip na sila doon sa mismong uh, tori na yon. Hmm. Kailangan nilang lumabas para makakuha ng space at makakuha ng jungle. Hindi nila pwede pagtsagaan. Yung liit-liit na lang yan. Pero Esmeralda ang naligaw. Pinagbumog ng mga punyal. Oh no! Hindi, oy, tumama pa rin. Maitatali si keyboard. Hmm. At sa yung magiging kapalit. Ito yung masakit. Retry holder pa ng Gentle Giants FE yung nabura. Tama, pero ito, mabuburan sila. Si Moonfang dito may enough damage na. Kasi lunok si Amor dito. Iti-take down na na maaga. May nakap ng Lord sa kanila. Pero hindi nakatakaya. Fatal Link sa nuhabutan na. Pero ito nakuha na. Takbuha na. Pulasan na. Si Meray dito. Nagbabay na. Hindi na namin kailangan makipaglabas sa inyo kasi nakuha na namin yung gusto namin dito, yung Lord sa amin na. Well, it's in terms of skill set, parehas eh, no? Tama. Kayang-kayang sumabay. Sabayan. Uh, they know how to use their hero properly. Pero pagdating na sa plano, dito nawawala 
ang gen uh, natatalo ang Gentle Giants FE. Tama. Meray with those shot calls and those bush plays. Uh, at nakita pansin mo ba yung kanina? Mm -hmm. Unpredictable sila eh. Alam nila na alam, uh, nakita na sila sa eye bush. Mm -hmm. He went on that, she went on that specific bush katabi ng Ursa. Tama. At yung dalawa nilang damage dealer, hindi rin katabi. Tama. Pero eto si Sujin, tinataboy, nadali yung kaja. That's gonna be the fatal. It's connecting. Oh, no. The virus passion being absorbed by the members of Gentle Giants FE. Oh no, not Anayami. Reaching the backline. May backline access din. That's gonna be Casey. Reaching out Moonfang. Uh -huh. And still, dalawa pa rin ang nawala sa OMGE. Nakala Nakalamang pa rin sa trade ang Gentle Giants FE kahit na nalusutan doon si Moonfang. Hmm. Ang problema nga lang, sino ang tutunaw sa Lord? Tama, hindi tutunaw talaga. Okay. Ayan na! Oh, Frostmoon Shield! Still alive! May phoning sa kung pa dito pagilid kung sakaling abutan siya. And that's how you are going to survive against sa isang Gushon. The Frostmoon Shield! Ah, grabe yung tulong na yun. Talagang ah, ang laking bosit nung yeah. isang Gushon. At nakita mo kulang din yung damage ng Gushon doon. Ah, yung enhanced basic attack kasi niya nagamit na Tama, eh. doon sa unang uh, pack ng uh, oh, 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 Frostmoon Shield. Uh, turret though, mga outer turrets ay wala na uh -huh. para dito sa um, uh, Gentle Giants FE. But that's, in terms of uh, network lead na meron na Omega Empress, uh, you could expect more tower damage sa kanila. Siguro, uh, hindi lang talaga nila nakapitalize yung Lord na yun ng masyado uh -huh. dahil nakatayo pa tong dalawang inner turret sa gitna Tama. dahil doon sa magandang reaction kagad and trades ng Gentle Giants. At least they took two eh. Tama. Well, let's see now. What's the, uh, what's the retake here for the Gentle Giants FE? So, um, nakakasabay sila dito in the frontline access kapag may maganda nang kuha si Natalia Nami. Mm. Kaso, ang nangyayari kasi, naiiwan lagi dito yung backline nila, which is smooth and fun. So, ang ganda rin pumuesto ni KC. Alam niya kung kailan papasok, alam niya gagamitin kung kailan yung phantom stick niya. Kita mo dito, 712 KDA. So, sobrang ingat niya dito. Nakakuha siya ng kills um, single-handedly nang hindi man lang siya na-interrupt ng mga members ng Gentle Giants FE. Mm -hmm. So, ang kailangan gawin dito ng GGFE, they need to look for KC. Ayun yung hanapin yeah. na dito. Pa, ano kasi independent jungler eh, no? Oh, eh. So, hindi, pinatunayan niya kanina na hindi siya umaasa sa mga hatak lang ni oh. Meray. So, kaya niyang mang okray para mapaaray itong kapo ng Gentle Giants FE oh. sa kanyang backline play. Kate. And, ang tagal nilang nagtatago, tinamaan Tama. lang ng ligaw na bala. Zujin was forced to back out. Ah. Same goes with three more members na kanina pa nagta nakatago doon at gustong gumawa ng play. Tama. Lord is gonna be up in five seconds. That's gonna be an early Uh, magic Sentry to uh, locate the members and position of the OMGE. Yan na. So, alam na naman dito ng OMG na nandun yung mga members sila. Nagamit na maaga. Ay, naku, ang bilis. Ang bilis dunok si. Oo. Well, um, I guess GGFE already gave up that situation because they saw not Ayanami on the middle lane. Oo. Uh -oh. And you saw two members uh, zoning them out. Meray together with the Esmeralda. Mm -hmm. Ang balak nila doon, kahit ma... Uh, for example, nag-overcommit ng Fatal Links itong uh, si Kaping Malamig mm -hmm. against Meray, uh, they will have an Esmeralda para maging backup tank. Tama. So, hindi basta makapenetrate sa uh, likuran itong uh, kampo ng Gentle Giants. But uh -huh. this is a level 2 Lord. Uh, diving into the base turrets, this could not be the end kung hindi naman mauubos ng OMG itong Gentle Giants FE. Yeah. But still, the threat of the Fatal Links is here. There is no purify at all sa buong OMG. Tama, no. No purify, but um, can we see if there is a winter transition dito worth it ba? Wala pa. Damage na lang sila, Wala no? pa. Damage pa yan kasi 13 minutes pa lang tayo. Mamaya, uh -huh. siguro mabandang 15, may winter transition na dyan. May brilliance naman kasi. Uh -huh. Itong si Amor, so okay lang yun. Uh -huh. uh, kahit hindi i-rush yung kanyang uh, winter transition. But look at that. Aray. The damage to keyboard. And uh, I think Gentle Giants FE gave up. They're based turrets dito yeah. sa may iba ba. Naman. Yung Lord natin tunaw na at mukhang yung gitna naman yung gustong kuhanin ngayon ng mga... Kabarangay. Look at the hesitance that uh, Meray is giving it, uh, um, giving out to um, General Giants FE. Nag-conceal lang siya doon para ma-divert yung attention nila. Oh, Tapos oh. maging focus ito yung gitna, mabasag na nila. Yung taas natin, isang one hit na lang dito ng sniper, tapos na. Tapos na yan, oh. Babalikan na ni Shunoaya, maya-maya pag medyo lumamig na yung sitwasyon dyan. Lalo lang muna sa babalikan niya. Tapos yung gitna naman yung magiging target nila, ay na mukhang papasukin na talaga ng OMG, yung General Giants ay, FE. At umaamba na naman si Meray sa kanyang pwedeng hatakin. And that's gonna be a turret push up top. Uh, from Shinoa, all of the bases are gone. The base is fully exposed. The body of Gentle Giants are fully Aray. exposed. Renner once again connecting, destroying completely the positioning 
of Gentle Giants FE. Ayan Ito na. yung nagiging problema nila eh. Gusto din nilang magtago sa bush. Pero yung mga bala na yon, yun yung pinaka nagiging vision Tama ng eh. OMGE. Pag kumukonekta, nagkakaroon kasi ng damage notification sa kanya. At the same time, nagkakaroon din ng um, tao dito ng regeneration sa kanya. So uh, alam niya kapag may dinamaan na maganda at ayun na, sa pool talaga ng bala. Ito nagkataya na Shinoa dito. Tumambling pa. Oh! Again! Again! Lagi, again! Again! Lagi may tinatamaan. Grabe ah. naman to Hitman, no? Lalo na yung mga tinatamaan, yung malalambot pa. Ta Tamang tama. Wala talagang damay si Bilyan. Oh, Kaya ito damay yan na. Nun. Concentrate na maganda. Pero ito yung bugitan natin. Nagiwalay na nahila dito. Perfect match ka na dito. Fatalings! Nakuha yung dalawa! Ah, na na Naterify pa sila ng Valentina. May phantoms din na tatawagin. Si Sinoa na shutdown ng Lapu-Lapu. Pero may hatak din. Anayami against three. Here comes the perfect match. Oh. Moonfang na reach out sa may backline. Valentina, Esmeralda matchup. Zujin getting the oh, kill. No, We have two casualty right now. Mula sa Omega Empress. Ayan na na-impress. Immortality in the kakabili lang. At ito nabuhay pa. Zujin getting ready. Pero yung ating momentum kaya pa. Oh, Meron ako. Take down na. Nakaupusan na. Eto yung lapu na maganda. Pero wala flicker dyan. Meron na lang natira. At ayun na. Apat na pabagsak. Medyo singko. Kamuti. Oo, oh, oh, grabe. Oh. Ka ang ganda na nung ginawa ng Omega Empress. Tama. That was an impressive uh, uh, entry. Nakita mo, pumasok muna si, Ki si Phoebe para yung attention ma-divide uh -huh. pa para sa Gentle Giants. Pero hindi na in-expect. Narede rin pala yung Gentle Giants. Hindi sila nag-overcommit dito kay Phoebe. And then, nung nakita nila yung Kaja, nakapaghanda sila, nahatak pa itong Pugita. And of course, yun yung gusto ng Atlas eh. Yung mahatak sila, mahatak yung, ka, yung kakambal niya and then makapag fatal links and the damage from Sujin is so much. Here we go. They wanna contest the Lord badly. The zone out. Phoebe trying to jump in. Oh no, pula to si Kape. Si, si keyboard pa rin nakakuha. Kape malamig goes down. Phoebe will the casual chi. Merai almost surviving. Oh, Magkita no. pisong buhay. Thanks to that immortality. Naging agro pa ang Omega. Wala ngayon yung Atlas. Paano papasok? ang Gentle Giants. Nama, paano nalang mawawakas ng walang Atlas dito ang punto ng Gentle Giants FE? OMG Empress right now. Aabot, aabot. I-delay lang. I-delay nga nila dito. Pero ito, wala nang delay. Buti ka na isang one hit na lang. Pero hindi inapol dyan. May bomba si Sinoa pero hindi pa rin kaya. Immortality intact pa. Nakatikin na parang glues sa kanila. Walang hiwala eh. Parang North Pole at South Pole ng magnet nila. At ayun yung Lord natin. Detake doon na maaga. Huwag kang maiinip, Moonpang. Kahit yung Atlas na lang dito. Moonpang, alam ka dyan. Huwag kang mal... Huwag kang... Ayan, pero may play pala sila. That's gonna be the conceal. Gentle Giants right now. Do you wanna set up a play? Meray, medyo napapaaray. Aatras muna ng onte. No more divine judgment right now for GGFE. Pero Tama. nawala na nila yung main shredder mm. na si Amor. Tama, si Amor dito. Ayan na, nagpakita ng motibo pero delikado. Si PB, ayan na si Casey. Nako, isa-isa yung target nila. Ganda ng distraction, diversion nila. Kaya yung gitna lang nakuha nila. Kahit yung lord natin natunan sa taas, hindi ba rin kaya mag-penetrate. I told third, you, pa. this is the match of the day. This could be the match of the week as well. Dahil nga, ba -ba 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 -ba. this is a battle of undefeated. Ito yung may dikit talaga na standing, may ipit siya tayong kabayo. Oh. Buti na lang natawag ng todo. Ngayon, pati yung putsero, aatras na muna kasama yung Esmeralda mm. na magpronta naman para itaboy muna ang kampo ng mga higante. Tama, matras na muna yung kabayo talaga kasi walang turista nagpunta sa Luneta. At ayun na, OMG, magbabalikan na. Phoebe again dito sa depensa. At yung diverso na ginagawa niya, laking tulong talaga. Kasi eh, yung attention na binibigay ng Gentle Giants FE, dapat doon sa main target nila, nakukuha niya. Siya oh. nagpapakita, yung motibo na pupunta rito. At ngayon, yun ang gigiging kwento ng ating uh, Gentle Giants FE. Na, parang nadada, nadadala lang sila dito ng adrenaline rush nila. They have the confidence and advantage yeah. right now. Adrenaline rush for both XP, especially. Uh -huh. PD splitting the position of Gentle Giants FE. Tama. Kung sobrang ma-pressure niya to at ma-isolate ma nila si Natanayami, malaki ang advantage ng OMG sa teamfight. Ang nangyayari kasi, nagugulo sila. Kinakaya silang bruskuhan ni Natanayami. Tatlo mismo ang laging in, uh, sinusolo na itong si Natanayami. Tama. Tatlo-tatlo talaga. Ayun lang naman yung sinasabi namin galing na pa eh. Uh, once na makakuha ng magandang posisyon dito. Hindi ba marirebuild? Hindi na nagbibid pala doon. Hindi abot yan. Hanggang doon lang yun sa oh, may kalahat yung Cyclone Eye. Lord Bush na pala yun. Tama. So, eto na. Lord in 30 seconds, ladies yes. and gentlemen. That's not the Lord position. And you could see that OMG is trying to set up a kill here. This, they, they want a battle of attrition. Gusto nilang may machani ng isa. Pero 
maganda pa rin yung presensya sa mapa ng Gentle Giants FE. Tama. Hindi sila nag-overextend. Hindi. Hindi sila nag-overcommit. They are always actually trying to be careful Yun. inside the map. Here we go, kapeng malamig, nakapwesto na. Yung Lord natin buhay na. KC together with the Esmeralda of Phoebe. Parehas din, nakapwesto na rin sa Lord. They're trying to lure the Lord into their uh, advantage position. And that's gonna be kapeng malamig. Incandescent spray na ba? Oh, no! Hindi pa, atras na muna. Naku, igugaw yata ito ng OMG! Oh, igugaw yata, wala. mabilis! Wala! Pula, 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 wala na talaga yung bukita na yung bukita na slowdown pa! At ay nakuha, wala na! Yung vault dito na nabasta, para bolta talaga! At ay na may concealed play pa! Pero problema na yung vault, ano ba yung tension nila? Pero si malalim si Mi! Pero kaya pa! Sumunod dito na malalim pa! Ayan na! Oy. Incandescent play! Pero naku, not a perfect play! With the tragedy, oh. nakuha rin ang buhay niya! Nakapakan ng kabayo, Diyos Mi, yung si keyboard! Moonfang into the backline, throwing oh, damage! No. Kapeng malamig, isang bala na lang ang natitira! Bang. At na pa ni si Noah. Ayan, dito pero ang heavy na naminubuhat niya sino wala kaligtas pa at ay nabuta pa oh! Shaker with a passive again not Ayanami and not this time also oh my gulay Moonfang and not Anayami Bam! saving the day for the gentle giants and this destroyed four members just for the tank kaping malamig siya lang yung pinaka naging malamig mm. na bangkay pero nabuhay pa rin yung kanila oh, tapo no! kasama pala si keyboard si Casey tumawag na kabayo pero nagkamali ako dalawa pala kayo Nako, ayoko na sa inyo. Hindi ko kayo isasakay dito sa aking kabayo. Mula naman tayong putsero talaga. Di ako marunong magbatakbo. At ayun na, tumatakbo na yung mga membro. Kakayaan niyo ba nila? Kung buhay yung Esmeralda, di mga rin creepy. Bravest fighter na naman yan. Naman. Pero kung kunin na. Pero take down na muna dito mga gabi na sagasa na sila. At nako, ayun na. Nadaman nyo isa. For each time, muna connecta. Immortality na nagbap na. Wala tayong winter ration. Kaya patay yung putsero. Oh no, sinama na oh, no! yung kabayo. Moonfang gets the... Oh no, the defense. Bulay buhay si Meray. Kaya pa ba mag-tower lock? Oh. Humihinga, OMG! Wow. And that's gonna be a GG for yeah. the GG FE! Wow! A comeback! A comeback win for GG FE! Wow! Wow! Well, well, well. What a comeback game. What a performance. Early performance <laughs> mula dito sa Smart Omega Empress. Pero Gentle Giants FE, nakita mo yung composure nila. Tama. Nakita mo yung resiliency nila. They they know where to go and kung kailan sila papalag sa laban. Not Anayami, nagpaka-Pilipino talaga doon. Always today. diving into the backside, always focusing in Shinoa. Tama. I thought that was already OMG gameplay. Ang ganda ng patong nila eh. But not Anayami, just in time. Just in time para bumalik at pumasok doon. Ang sakit na nun for ano eh, Gentle Giants FE. Yeah. A jungle over XPE. Pero yun pala yung magiging sagot nila. Uh, or naging advantage pa nila. Bakit? Kamo. Wala na, namatay yung Esmeralda. Wala nang aabot kay Moonfang. Mm. And then nandun pa yung lapu-lapu ni Ananat Anayami. Mm. Na naabutan etong si Shinoa. Tama. Well, Nat Ayanami. She's really the, uh, the factor here. Look at that, not Ayanami's participation here. 70. 70%. Um, yes. An in. XP, ah, na may 70%. Tama, Ay, hindi usual man. yan, eh. Hindi usual yan sa isang XP. And look at the hero damage. 27%. Second to the first hero damage dealer. Poker. Siya talaga dito kasi, siya yung nagiging focus, ay, ano, nagiging focus na dito si Shinoa na kanina pa. Kasi ang ganda na ng pwesto ni Shinoa, eh. Akala ko kanina walang flaker, pero may nakasave pa pala. Meron. Parang kay Shinoa lang talaga. At ayun. Wow, what a turn around. Not Ayanami chasing down Shinoa. Not today. Shinoa, yeah, not that, today. Yun na yung pinaka ano eh. Yun na yung pinaka tuldok eh. Tama. Diba? And uh, nakita natin si Moonfang mm -hmm. na um, nag-struggle on the early stage. Yun. Yung mga toren niya lagi yung chinachani nila si Shinoa. Uh -huh. Pero nung last part ng team fight, talagang na napakaganda ng pwesto niya eh. Tama. Uh, he's unre uh, she's unreachable. And uh, since Keishi is also focused on those low, uh, on those low HP hero, uh -huh. hindi na niya na rin abutan etong si Moonfang. Time to time kasi siya yung nag, uh, na nakakahanap uh, kay Moonfang. And uh, since they were bothered about that bravest fighter mula kay Nat Anayami, mm -hmm. kumakaripas na rin sila ng takboy, lalo na yung mga bawas na buhay. Tama. Especially si Amor at etong si Shinoa. Well, um... That's it. That's the first loss of um, Smart Omega Empress. And that's really impressive for General Giants FE. Binahiran. Basi na lang ang kinakapitan nila dito. Tapos, tagal nun ah. Ang tagal nung depensa na yun. And, <laughs> 20 minutes na. Um, sinabi namin kanina, more than 20 minutes na aabot yung laro talaga. Ganun yung na-expect kasi namin sa mga high-caliber team. The discipline coming from General Giants FE. 
It's really, I just wanna comment not Ayanami. From time to time, siya talaga yung nagiging um, space yeah, provider, I think target shooter talaga dito. Literally the hero of this game. Yeah, siya talaga. No? Uh, the reason why they uh, got the comeback, and the only hero that could stop her on this game is Amor. Yeah. Pero si Amor laging naiipit, kumbaga sa gulo, uh, kahit hindi siya na uh, kasama muna, damay civilian ka agad. Tama. Diba? Hindi, in, uh, yung distansya niya kasi hindi ganun ka. Probably, since they are trying to execute Merai uh, and Amor combo badly, uh -huh. ka gusto niya lagi siya nandun pag naka, may hatak. Uh -huh. Pero dahil sa kagustuhan nila lagi na mabilis yung ganun, nadadamay siya every time na ma ma maipit si Merai. Well, um, that's it. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, that's it for the game number one. So, game number two. There should be a vengeance right now for um, Smart Omega. Oh, oh. Um, it's either the vengeance May or... May reban si ba? Reban si ba? Ang oh, mangyayari. Oh. Or, tinatanong natin yan kung ano eh. Kung makakabawi pa ba? Oh. Or, or, tapos na ba? Magiging 2-0 uh, na ba to para sa ating... Oo, oh, oh, tignan yeah. natin kung kaya pa. Kasi, uh, we're talking about uh, names before. Mm -hmm. At alam natin, kilala yung Omega. Tama. Alright, and uh, now, uh, since GGFE won this game... Yeah. Pinatunayan din nila na, aba, malakas din kami sa amateur scene. Tama, baka ano to, gentle giants to. Oo. Oh. Diba, walang gentle gentle dito. Walang Ayan, gentle, oo. Oh, oh. Sabi one. nga ni Boss Jet, they may, be a gente, uh, they may be gentle, but they are still giants. Tama, Tama ba? Diba? Gentle gentle, pero higanti pa rin kami. Oh, oh. And of course, the MVP of this game. Number one, the CM Boutique MVP. No other than Zujin for her Valentina. 4115 KDA, dealing so much damage, and the Divine Judgment is also interrupting the members of OMC Empress earlier. Look at that. Magic Shoes and Janet Talisman. That's the usual. Uh, first two items for Valentina for the continuous poke. Genius One, may Holy Crystal pa. So, ang sakit ng damage output and the spell bomb capability. And, uh, ayun, yung spell bomb capability para matagdagan pa. Yeah, um, she has the Oracle and together with the Immortality for her to last yeah. one. Yeah, hybrid pa actually itong Valentina na to. Hindi to yung full uh, damage build. Pero, Tama. napansin natin yung damage ng Holy Crystal niya kanina sa may uh, mid lane defense nila. Uh -huh. Nung nahuli niya yung tatlo sa Terrify, mm -hmm. yung Leo Mord, nag-pop yung Immortality din, nakala niya uh -huh. makakataka siya, pero inabutan pa rin siya ng Shadow Strike. Tama. Well, um, that's the reach of uh, Valentina. That's how you capitalize the Valentina. That's why she is the MVP of this game. In terms of numbers, ha? In terms of numbers, she's the MVP. But for me, the MVP is not Ayanami. Uh, I love not Ayanami. Oh, hindi naman talaga siyang MVP. Yeah. IGN niya. Ah, IGN niya. Oh, uh, tama. Para sa no. akin ang MVP, si not Ayanami. The hero. For me naman, the hero of the game. No, mantakin mo, uh, dalawa na yung... Yung mga surprising talagang ano eh, mga plays dito eh, no? No, paano uh, surprise? Doesn't mean na uh, ikaw yung uh, Ayun, no? <laughs> nakakalamang, talagang inyo na yung laban. Always Dama. expect the counter attack. Yun. Right? You saw the power of Omega. Talagang sila yung lamang doon. Oo, no? uh, nabalikan lang. Eh. Nabalikan lang talaga. So, Dama. hindi imposible na bumawi sila sa laban. Yun. Hindi imposible na makapag-reban si sila. Kumbaga, hindi imposible yung ano eh, no? Kumalag pa ulit ng second Kumalag game. Kumalag pa sila, oo. Oh, Pwede pang umisa ng second game, Oo, no? Alam well, naman, kilala tong Omega na, ano to, they are actually considered one of the best team pagdating sa amateur uh, female division. Diba? Uh, in terms of power rankings, lagi sila sa mga, mga content creators at sa mga uh, uh, enthusiasts na naglalabas ng power rankings, lagi silang kasama. Ang Sol Papi, oh. Ayun, no? Well, <laughs> that's the game number one. That was, um, I would call this, Surprise, but not really surprise. Oh. Kasi nangyayari natin. Kasi nga, parehas naman talaga matindi. Yeah, and also, always expect the unexpected with those underdogs. Yeah. No, kasi sila yung uh, may gusto nga patunayan eh. Tama, di ba? Di ba? Sila yung may gusto talaga dito na uh, magpakilala, di ba? Mm -hmm. Sila yung gusto magpa-impress uh, talaga dito sa mga impress natin. Oo. Oh, oh. Lalaban pa ba yeah. ang Omega? Lalaban Ayan, pa ba? Yung, uh, Makakasabay pa ba sila dito? Kasi nagkamali lang sila eh. Uh -huh. Nagkamali lang, totoo man. Totoo. Oo, oh, kayang-kaya nila. They have that uh, uh, advantage. They know how to execute uh, their lineup well. It's just that, ito yung poison talaga ng Atlas. Kahit yung Atlas, ay <laughs> ilang beses nang na-nerf. Uh, at uh, may availability ng Purify. Yung mga miracle set na ganun, ayaw mo, uh -huh. ayaw mo mangyari sa iyo eh. Kayang-kaya talaga. At ayun. Shoutout sa lahat dyan at yung anak ko pala nanonood. Oh, Shoutout yes. sa anak ko. Ayan. Ayan. Si, Shoutout sa'yo. Si, si Drake. Ayan. 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 Aking anak, Drake Lincoln. Ayan. Mm. <laughs> Shoutout sa'yo. Nanonood. Minakisinan sa akin ng asawa ko yung video. Ah. Nanonood. Magkakas na rin yan. <laughs> oh. Ako yung anak ko nun talaga nanonood. Pag tinanong mo yun, anong trabaho ng daddy mo? Sigaw-sigaw. Ah! 
Na ganun siya. Sigaw-sigaw <laughs> eh. Oh, sigaw-sigaw. No? Oh my, ngayon naging prove na hindi na. Oh my god. Ah, oh my god. Siya. Oh, oh. Ano ba 'yan sasabihin ng mga anak natin no pag ano? Syempre, ano 'yan eh, pag school, 'di ba? Hindi maintindihan man shot ng mga ano 'yan, na shoutcaster, hindi pa nila alam. Ano 'yun? Ano 'yun? Malamang sasabihin ng commentator. Oh. 'Yan, ano. Sasabihin no. Kasi tayo noon ang usual na trabaho. Wala kasing ganun trabaho dati. Wala, diba? wala, wala. So ngayon, eto, mali mo, ano, sabi ng anak na, ay, yung tatay ko, wala po yun. <laughs> oh, ano lang, nag-iingay lang yun. Opo, biyahe pag, lang po ng biyahe. Pag, naki, pag narinig nyo po nag-iingay sa mall, tatay ko yun. O yun, tatay ko po yun, maingay sa mall. Ayun, uh -huh. yung sigaw po na sigaw. Yun. Oh, ay, malapit na yung anak ko, mag -aar uh, nag-aaral na siya eh. So, oh, di yan. malayo na. Tapos, yeah, no. tatanungin niyo yung, uh, pag tinanong naman ano, yung trabaho na nanay niya, uh -huh. uh, sasabihin niya, ano, ay, nakalaman mo tayo siya. Basta nag-uutos eh. Okay. Ah, uh, okay guys. Ganun, ganun. Okay guys, okay, guys teacher, di ba? <laughs> okay, okay guys. Ganun daw. Ganun yun. Kaya napakakit pag tinatanong mo. Oo, uh, di ba? Well, tayo natin. Oo. Eh, baka buwas nagsasalita na yung anak mo. Pwede mo naman tanong. Nagsasalita na. Nasa Milo Best na nga eh. Hindi, <laughs> anong role ko na. Ano? Parang umpisa pa lang. Pero ano? ito, umpisa na. <laughs> Game number two. <laughs> But ang, ang tagal na lang lumalabas dyan. Di tayo makarecover. Ayan, no? ayaw ko. <laughs> di tayo makamupot. Ito! Papalagba ulit ang Omega Empress or Gentle Giants FE will use that momentum from the game number one. Ayan, Ayan at uh, siyempre makuha ang perfectong laban here. Tama pa ng perfect sell yan, no? Yeah, yeah. Inubos yung mga Android, no? <laughs> Let's see what's gonna happen on this game number two, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. This is one of the best series we've seen. Probably the best series yet. Uh, high caliber. Yeah. No, yes, we have other series that are exciting mm. and intense, but you 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 haven't seen this kind of caliber. Yeah. The decision making itself, the patience. Uh, this is the first game that we casted all throughout the Lakambini with multiple bush game. Yeah, bush games and also the patience that he had. Obviously, it's really a high caliber team um, or teams that are um, um, in the battle right now. Um, we saw earlier that the um, executions are really smooth, especially for the Smart Omega. They were able to um, um, get the retakes and get the turtle advantage from time to time. And they're not the ones, or they're not the type of the team that after the turtle objective, they will be aggressive to um, at least get another killing objective. Yeah. They and will just get back. Probably Gentle Giants uh, realize their position on that game. Yeah. Uh, you, you're not supposed to initiate immediately it's because there's a divine judgment uh -huh. so the time that they re they realize that they don't have the upper hand they went for a passive game and then they waited for the gentle giant uh, from the Ome uh, smart omega empress execution so yeah. the time they casted the divine judgment that's the green light for the atlas casting that fatal links mm. and you're having a valentina into your backline of course you're gonna have a multiple uh, follow-ups the threat for the valentina is that the burst it's the multiple taunts Uh, or terrify with those pokes that you're not gonna feel really but you're gonna see your HP having very low. Yeah, very low HP and that's the time that you're, um, I would call this, you're gonna have second thoughts to join, to join the team fight. So um, pokes are really important on this game. It was really shown by the Gentle Giants FE on the game number one. It's the Valentina that you have mentioned earlier. Now for the third ban here for the side of GG FE. They would uh, most probably um, ban an Akai right now or ban a Leo Mord at least or they can get a Leo Mord on their side. This time around, Omega Empress will not ban a DG. It's not the usual Omega Empress yeah. anymore. It's because Gentle Giants FE let them, uh, what I call us, let them know that uh, we're not going to be baited out with that type of the banning and drafting. Indeed, right? And uh, they capitalizes the main ban of Omega mm -hmm. uh, since the, it was like... Um, It was like a tradition or a mm. cycle for Omega mm. banning the Digi. Probably Gentle Giants FE expected it already. Mm -hmm. Oh, we saw their previous games. They had for uh, four series banning the Digi time to time. So yeah. let's wait for that and then let's get the Atlas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and now for the first pick. So uh, there's a lot of open heroes. And of course, Omega, as usual, they ask for a trade. They banned the Barabbas instead of getting uh, or uh, banning the Liu Mord. So uh, GGFE is now deciding who's going to be the first pick. It's either Liu Mord. Oh, okay. It's Why of not? course the hero itself from the game number one. Yeah. Uh, what are you going to expect more? It's going to be the Lapu Lapu on the side yeah. of Gentle Giants. Have you heard about Lapu Lapu uh, for our Philippine money, the 5,000? Is, is that true? Yeah, it's on the news. Ah, I don't know because um, 5, I, I thought it, it's old. It was wide. I'm not sure if it is gonna be final or what, but uh, there are there's a news. I thought that was uh, 2,000. 
No, that's 5,000. 5,000? Yeah, 5,000. Oh, no, I don't want that 5,000 anymore. With, I want um, I want to be back on the 10 peso paper bill. So that... Um, no, that's... Uh, because uh, you, the money right now... You, before, it was 25... The money is so low, low. Yeah, it's, it's very low. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's because of the uh, the economy, right? Yeah, uh, the economy. First, the 25 cents. Mm -hmm. When, when we, were, well, we were kids, you could still buy something with 25 cents. Oh, no! Cents. I was not able to, um, um, really? to buy with 25 really? cents anymore. It, it, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> right? So now, Your team if, if you're going to be given a 25 uh, cents change, where are you gonna do you? What, where Keep are you the change. Do? You're gonna uh, you're gonna give it to the cashier, or you're gonna throw it right, or you're just yeah. gonna keep it and not gonna use yeah, it. It doesn't just, matter to you anymore. Yeah, it doesn't matter to you anymore. So yeah. I think that's the reason why they they, yeah. they won't go for the paper ten peso bill. Yeah, that, that's why um what do you call this? I like to uh, get back to the ten peso paper bill for us to have a better appreciation for our currency. Pra right? Okay. So probably. Uh, uh, let's not. So push at least for the 5, it's anymore. not too heavy. Yeah. All right. Let's not push for the five thousand anymore. And I want uh, yeah. to go back and, when. And it's heartbreaking if you're gonna lose that money. It's already five thousand. Yeah, five thousand. And aside from that, um, as a godfather also, right? On Christmas, you want to be give out ten pesos only. Oh. The Right? That's want, the reason why. You want to give the 10 peso paper bill back, right? You don't want to give out coins. You don't want to give uh, out the 20 peso coin right now. Because 20 peso I, bill I, I thought is minimum much is 20. Yeah, minimum is 20. But I want to get back to 10. Oh, okay. So, the more, <laughs> the more, people, the more paper bill in Ampau, that's much better. There's a rollback. Yeah, a rollback. <laughs> uh, because the gas prices right now are rolling back as well. <laughs> So let's um, go uh, back as well. Now right? you know, don't go to run. Yeah, and yeah. be like that, okay? Mm, there you go. If you want to succeed, <laughs> um, add some drama on your life and you will succeed and do a post yeah. like this. Probably you know how to actually be a floor director, why not try it? Uh, Probably have they, two minutes for you to prepare, you, okay? Right? Even though you don't have an experience if they saw you. You can be, you can yeah, be. You could always be. Yeah, right? as long as you have the connection. But, but the problem, the, the job description is casting. Yeah. Not directing. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Well, well, I will look like desperate like that. Well, let's see what's gonna happen here. Mm -hmm. Omega trying to bounce back uh -huh. on the dis devastating loss they had against Gentle Giants FE. Okay, Kagura. Uh, Kagura is out. Lilia is out as well, uh, surprisingly, since Lilia is uh, being snubbed time to time uh, on the previous games after the nerf. For the fourth pick, uh -huh. we have the Leslie, Liu Morden, Diggy for the Omega. Uh, their typical band Diggy is now one of their utility. Yeah. Lunox will be kept. Uh, here, so Amor will try it again. Yeah, redemption with, uh, for the Lunox. Uh, with her Lunox. Why not? Coconut, coconut. Uh, she's a very good Lunox user. Mm -hmm. It's just that Nat Anayami became a pain in her face uh, during that game. Yeah, for the fourth and last pick right now for the GGFE, uh, most probably the smartest, of course, will go for the jungle side. Now, uh, rumor possibility is just going to be a control. This cannot be a control anymore. It's because of the presence of the Digi on the side of Omega Empress. It's going to be hard for them to pull it up. But if they will be able to get two controls at the same time, it's going to be hard for the Omega Empress to react as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, in terms of... Um, Post 4. Utilities, Leo more than... Hmm. Matil. Oh, okay. oh, no. Yeah. They why not? They why not? There are two glass cannon heroes here that you could get with that rough waves. Plus, you will have an insurance into the late stage. Talking about um, artillery, of course we have the Renner's Affity together with that dawning light. Yeah, and imagine, a Leo Mord using a Phantom Steed on the position of the Barbell State. It's going to be hard for him to initiate because of this uh, Mystic Film. Yes, indeed. Right? Together with the Breath of Ocean, mm -hmm. this is going to be a huge threat for him. Uh, there are multiple threats for him on this game compared to the yeah. game number one. Uh, Mortal Coil as well, the Land Shaker, which mm -hmm. is uh, automatic since game number one. Yes. But we're not gonna see, of course, Anayami using that Land Shaker against the Leomord. Yeah. She's gonna reserve it for the Leslie into the backside. If the Beatrix struggled a lot against the Lapu-Lapu, mm -hmm. what more with the Leslie? Yeah, Leslie right now dealing a true damage. So let's see what's gonna happen here for game number two. This is going to be a redemption for Omega Empress or this could be a start of their collapse. Maybe because of the... Um, that was a horrible loss, actually. That's well, right. Well, here we go. Waiting for the game number two. Mm -hmm. 
Gentle Giants has that momentum and confidence already that they were able to build from the game number one. Smart yeah. Omega, of course, the eagerness for them to bounce back on this game. This is the first time they lost here in Lakambini. The first loss, and it's really a hurtful and upset loss against Gentle Giants FB. Not really an upset. It's an upset because they were the one um, was holding the advantage already when it comes to the map spacing and even the power spike. But of course, the resilience coming from OA, Gentle Giants FE, and the Perseverance as well, they were able to come back against OMG. Now, let's see. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the game number two. And all the viewers out there, the, um, the Penelians, you better share the stream for us to have a better viewership here and for you to support your um, teams as well that you are supporting at the same time. Now, Gentle Giants FE. Um, this is um, um, a burst type of heroes that they have. They have the um, decimation advantage. They have the control against the Neo mode here using that um, Mystic Field. Look at that. The continuous smoking coming from the Breath of Ocean and also um, the Oddity coming from um, Ice Coffee. It's not going to be easy against Amor right now. So Amor is trying to um, shot a redemption here against the members of Gentle Giants FE. But again, this brilliance is not enough. Look at that. Transcendence and Infinite Extension coming from Zujin. Damage output, just as starting off this game, the first two minutes is really hurting Amor already. Yeah, Amor is, is struggling on this game. Uh, it's because the range fav uh, favored uh, Sujin a lot. But if those kills misses, that's the time for Amor to bounce back. Unfortunately, Gentle Giants already started the game, getting the first blood against Vivi up top. Ladies and gents, this is Anayami with the Lapu Lapu completely controlling and conquering that XP lane. A, an ancient, actually, um, hero here uh -huh. with those bolo against a, a, a katana, an old katana, right? Mm -hmm. It's a Japanese weapon versus a Filipino weapon, yeah. and not an Ayami won another uh, matchup right yeah, there. Ancestral, um, ancestral weapon versus the modern weapon here on the XP lane. Now the matchup, here it goes, Mystic Field again. Eye for an eye has been cast at the time. It will cost 12 seconds of his life or her life for her to wait for another eye for an eye. Um, in vulnerability, but again, the Gentle Giants FE right now are starting to initiate this turtle and luring it onto a better position. Look at that, easy turtle again for the Gentle Giants FE. The Band of Seed has been casted desperately as well just to get out of that Ayanami. And again, the setup from that Land Shaker together with the Electo Final Blow. The setup coming from PB as well is not enough to get the retake against Gentle Giants FE. Oh no, you saw the patience from the, mm -hmm. uh, the Gentle Giants FE. Yeah. Uh, even though they took the turtle already, they did not go for an immediate kill. They saw mm -hmm. the uh, uh, Keishi, Li, Keishi's Liu Mord being mm -hmm. out position. They could have used that Land Shaker together with Ashura's Aura mm -hmm. and Mortar Recoil follow up for them to really destroy a Liu Mord without having that uh, Phantom mm -hmm. Seed. But they don't want to overcommit because mm -hmm. there is a, an Electo Final Blow that you cannot really disrespect. The early damage of a Benedetta is considered a damage for an Assassin. So even mm -hmm. you're a fighter, you could still be destroyed by those Katanas. Yeah, that's what we are talking about earlier. The patience and the discipline coming from these high caliber teams is really what is um, our call is matters right now so look at that Zujin again is just patiently waiting for the minion waves here not overextending onto the river because she is respecting the capability and also the boost game of, of OMG Empress which happened on the game number one yeah so uh, Zujin just needs some time here um here our call is um, um her power spike will be um uh, directly proportional to the time as it gets longer so if this game gets longer as well, she gets stronger at the same time. Yeah, indeed. Though, uh, OMG Empress actually winning the uh, the draft that they did. Look mm -hmm. at the Diggy right now, completely helping Shinoa uh, into mm -hmm. the bottom by getting a lot of turret gold plating. Yeah. That's the reason why Omega Empress still has the lead even though they failed to get the turtle up top. Yeah. And this could be the start. Uh, of Omega Empress but if you're gonna compare it from the game number one it's like a deja vu Omega is always leading the early but losing the late team fights yeah when it comes to team fight the collapse is here and now the land shaker petrify countering it and oh, interrupting no. it an and again now Phoebe about to go down the third damage is not enough to take her down and the twin blades as well now KZ all alone against Nata Yanami of course Nata Yanami is um, smart yeah. enough to take away Ooh. and also get back and the Renner Sabari coming from Moonfang that time the damage almost Getting Mera down as a casualty on the side of OMG Empress. Yeah, indeed. And you saw uh, the Electo final blow of Phoebe. Mm -hmm. uh, if, if everyone thought that was actually misdirection, 
she did it well. Yeah. Because if she uses the Alecto Final Blow forward, she could easily be targeted by mm. not Anayami. So since uh, the, the direction is going uh, backwards, Anayami got confused yeah. where to pop that land shaker. And she survived in that situation. But the good thing is Anayami could do that. Mm. She's against two. And that's a Liu Mord. Yeah, and look at that. On to the bottom lane right now. So uh, Moonfang doesn't have any idea here that Amor is waiting for um, for her as well. So Moonfang just patiently waiting here to get all the um, uh, what I call this, um, all the minion waves. And uh, that's a smart pressure. move for Moonfang. Yeah, I, I love it. I love what she did. Uh, she knows the pressure continues on the gold lane. So uh -huh. she has to play. You know, I know safer. The trade into the mid lane. Rothway finally got a victim. And that's going to be KC. Unfortunately, for the OMG. Yes, mm. you took down the turret. But an immediate push as well into the mid lane. Unfortunately, it, was con it wasn't complete mm. from the Gentle Giants. And FD. now the time turning is there to get the flicker out. And ASD FT HHL is also running away. Now the ultimate snipe onto the front. Oh! This is the and now too much damage can take it in the more together with the help of the mystic field immobilizing that she know onto the back line again now a power push here I like the final blow together with a phantom strike and that is not yet enough for Phoebe to take down the members of gentle giants FE they were still able to divert their attention and now the land shaker chase got, they are not yet done she and got now bumped. heavy swing and Phoebe running away I run I desperately running away to that Labu Labu and that's how you get back she from that enemy. She got into the rock. The yeah. eye for an eye didn't actually penetrate on that thick wall. But mm. going back into the play earlier at the mid lane, we're in they got the kill against Shinoa. Mm -hmm. um, all throughout the game, they want to babysit Shinoa and yeah. she died in that situation. They thought that was an overextension for Sujin, but mm. Sujin is setting up a play with the Mystic Field and Nibiru's Passion. Not Ayanami against three. She's trying to take Bam. down Shinoa. Oh no! A bear got hit! But thanks to the push hide, she got the kill against Not Ayanami. Mm. But that's a threat already. Not Ayanami could always isolate at least three from mm. the OMGE. That was supposed to be, or that is an almost micro play or an outplay against the members of OMG Empress. If there will be just enough, um, uh, what it calls the twin day damage to trigger those, uh, what it calls the bravery coming from Nat Ayanami, she was able to survive and take down at least Ron, some at that time. I could say that's an outplay already. Why? Mm -hmm. They are three on that situation. And yeah. then they were hurt bar badly, including uh, Keishi. And here we go, the Mortal Coil, mm. Ashura's Aura. Though the, the Brilliance pops out, the Beatles Passion, Moonfang is so deep. Oh, no. That's getting Phantom Seed, destroying two members. Moonfang's falling low. Wow! Nice to the Mystic Field, but still Moonfang is in the... In, the table right now, almost being hit by Keishi, mm. thanks to Su Jin's position. Joining Light, ultimate snipe, blocking the bullets right now. Moonfang should always back out. I oh no! Petrify, and that's gonna be Moonfang going down. That's the wrong decision of Moonfang. Mm. She could have actually go home by running this on that a, point. Yeah, this is not a cold war anymore. OMG Empress and Gentle Giants LP are just exchanging bodies right now all throughout the map. If there will be casualties from the side of OMG, there will be a casualty as well for the side of GGFE. Now they are not yet down, uh, done, rather, not Ayanami. Again, with a chase down, reverse time is there to stop the Land Shaker attempt. Dawning Light's damage is now dealing a massive damage against the squeezy heroes on the side of OMG Empress. And they need to be careful. The Phantom Seed again and bringing out that Kaum, um, that uh, what we call this, the Karita of um, Ice Kobe out position on that moment and not uh, what we call this. She doesn't have any time to react anymore yeah. using the rough waves or even the oddity. That's the prowess of the lineup of OMGE. Those surprise pick off. The, yeah. uh, the surprise attacks from the momentum and then Phantom Seed destroying those uh, squishy heroes from the Gentle Giants FE. Mm -hmm. Remember, even though this is a Kadita roamer, this is a mage build Kadita. Yeah. Yes, there's a threat of her rough waves, but the sustainability isn't there. No one could tank the damage of Gentle, uh, Gentle Giants FE later on. Yeah. So we're actually, in terms of lineup here, we're going to expect them to get more pickoffs. But mm -hmm. OMGE is actually winning trades as of the moment. And if you're going to check out the gold, it's the lead of OMGE. If we're going to move into the league, game that's the question right now who's gonna sustain those damages for the artillery heroes into the back line yeah. to get the space they need to go to throw those damages yeah that's a nice ultimate snipe um earlier um coming from um shinoa um what calls popping out at the talasophobia right away so early, um later on talasophobia is not available anymore for ice coffee now merai with those uh, time bombs again so it's not Oh, I thought it's not triggering the time. And again, oh, the bounce no, 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 no. again. Oh, Marianne my God. About to go rhyme. Switching the middle. Oh, time's journey. That's been casted desperately. Oh. That was just a bailout. 
coming from OMG Empress. Oh no, Moon Fang was baited through the first time. She was punished by Amor. Mm. Amor bouncing back on this game. Never, oh, she never died on this game yet. So yeah. in terms of damage, she could deal with Anat and Ayami later on. Mm. Here comes the Lord Dance. Four v situation. Bam! Decimation taking down Merai, mm. but the, his own hat seat. The keyboard warrior was forced to run away, and even Zujin was outplayed oh. by Shinoa into the back line. Free Lord, free Lord for KG and the OMGE. Oh no, another set of play. Amor dealing with the massive damage here against Sata Yanami. Anayami. No Bread of Ocean is there. And again, the Chaos Assault Bolt, the last of that time. Yeah. Saving the life of the Karina coming from Ice Coffee. And now reviving Merai. So this is the same situation that happened on the game number one. OMG has a better space, has a better um, advantage when it comes to the Lord Objective. But when it comes to the latter stage of the game, it's a collapse moment for the OMG. Yeah, Gentle Giants FE right now, I think it's no longer the same Omega we saw. Yeah. It's because um, Amor is already online. This is something that we never saw on the uh, on the first game. Yes, um, she could perform like that, but the difference right now is the main lineup of Gentle Giants. No one could soak up the damage of the Chaos Assault. All yeah. of them will absorb that Chaos Assault. But here we go, Petrify. Oh, no. Rough waves, BB goes down. That's so deep for her. That's gonna be the Phantom Seed already. We're gonna Ashura's Aura just to protect the turret into the bottom. Lord is already out. That uh -huh. was just a level one Lord. Mm -hmm. But the members of Gentle Giants still, they are on the defensive mode. Yeah, and remember, Sujin is just getting stronger from time to time. So Sujin has been taken down just once on this game. That was um, a reach out out play coming from Phoebe who has been taken down also by the Karita of Ice Copy earlier using the Petrify play and also the Rough Waves. Now, on the second Lord objective, it's most probably OMG um, Empress right now. We'll just continue to punish the jungle side here onto the bottom lane of Gentle Giants FE. If they will continue to put the pressure here, it's going to be a hard time for the Gentle Giants FE to roam around the map because the turrets on the top lane are still complete and intact. So um, Phoebe can just easily check out the members and clean out the lanes and um, I would call this um, balance the equilibrium right now against Gentle Giants FE. Yeah. Look at that. Three members again compiling Phoebe. Checking out and testing the damage against not Ayanami, not knowing Ice Kobe together with Keyboard Warrior is ready as well to fight for a decimation and continuation and also to annihilate Phoebe together with yeah. the more that Good thing uh, Ice Kobe actually went on a different direction, Bam! but Ultimate Snipe revealing their intention and position. Oh, oh my no. god, you know what? <laughs> I know what you're gonna do. Mm -hmm. Even the dawning light has been burned out for nothing. No one um, hurts from the side of the OMGE. Lord in 35 seconds. Uh, in terms of map control, Omega Empress has the lead. In terms of firepower, they also has the lead. Uh, but Gentle Giants FE, we know them. Even though they're dealing against 5,000 gold deficit, uh -huh. once they got a good position and a good pick off, they could always turn the game around. Yeah, we haven't seen um, um, Keyboard Warriors so or Martyrs right now. Getting a highlight play here against OMG Empress. Oh, oh no! Ice Coffee has been taken down easily. That's the damage output together with the Master of Combo Plants and also the ultimate snipe coming from Shinoa. This is the redemption of Shinoa earlier. Did she, uh, did she hit all those bunny bombs? Yeah, she was able to, um, what do call this, um, to get those bunny bombs coming from Mary that time. So that's a good position. And also another advantage. Oh! oh that no. was an almost, oh. almost Dawning oh no, Light that, steal coming from that, Sujin. That's a cold-blooded Dawning Light. Coming from uh, Sujin, almost stealing uh -huh. the Lord away from Omega Empress. This could actually um, really hurt Omega, uh, Gentle Giant Safi. Yeah. If Omega Empress right now penetrates the ba uh, base turrets, mm -hmm. that could be Empress already winning this game without a comeback from Gentle Giant Safi. Exactly. Because up until now, the, gi the Giants doesn't know who's gonna absorb the damage. There are multiple damage from Empress. We're in no soakers or tanks coming from Gentle Giants. Even the Lapu Lapu mm. can no longer uh, take it anymore. Yeah, look at that. Not Ayanami this time. The little shot is really lethal against the Gentle Giants FE. It's not just lethal also. Those bullets are just penetrating like a Magnum range here. And now we have the Lord penetrating the inhibitor turret. Magic Sentry is not available anymore as we have the Mystic Field containing Mary that time. Phoebe with a Lacto final blow. Oh no, no, no one hurts from the side of the GFE. Oh no. Amor goes down. Oh my God, this is the disaster from the OMG again. Even losing Mary in the situation without any casualty from the Gentle Giants FE. 
And now they are on the run. They are the one trying to survive badly. Bam. Ultimate snipe. You know what? Checking the position right now of the Bam. gentle giants. Dawning light hurts a lot. OMG. -E. Failing to get the ending. Phoebe diving inside. And Amor overreacted in that situation. Trying to go for the ruby. Did he play? Yeah, she was not able to even cast a brilliant sword that time. So uh, that's that was a miscommunication coming from OMG Empress. Just like the second lord that they have in game number one. Um, they were able to take down two members of OMG Empress at the time. So now Ice Coffee together with the Keyboard Warrior and Moonfang destroying the top turret here. Because there's no defense available anymore for the OMG. Yeah. Now... For this um, third lord objective of this game, will this be a challenge for the Gentle Giants Happy? Because I think earlier, so. it was just a defense all out, waiting for the OMG to overcommit. Yeah, and you saw, it's only a more actually mm -hmm. giving the advantage for OMG. -E. And the time you're gonna lose a more, you're gonna lose team fight because no one could face Anayami. You saw. The Leo Mort and even the Benedetta doesn't have any damage against Nat Anayami. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have a more and Shinoa on your damage side, or your damage department, who's gonna deal with Anayami? And if yeah. Anayami has the independence in the world to do those swings with a heavy sword state, your damage dealers into the back line is in trouble. Even yeah. Keishi actually will be hurt a lot. Yeah, now the pressure for OMG. They just need to put the, uh, the same pressure that they, um, they use on the uh, second lord. Or they can um, just easily run down for another team fight and force the Gentle Giants FE to commit on them. Oh no! Shinoa oh. spotted out Ice <laughs> Coffee that time, and Ice Coffee had second thoughts as well to commit any rough waves because it's not gonna be worth it if uh, Shinoa still has a flicker on her side. It's not going to be a perfect target because Petrify needs a close engagement against the members of OMG Empress for it to be casted successfully and even the rough waves to uh, get a casualty. Now the Phantom Oh no, that has made it. Oh no, she's trying to actually bait it. He, she knows that Casey is hiding on that specific bush. Though there are the two XP laners right now are being isolated. Trying to do the miracle oh no. place and split. Here we go, the conceal. The, the breath of ocean. The Ashwin is out as well, controlling melee. Here comes the dawning line. Oh, keyboard warrior is so jipped. The chaos is on. Bad is rage. Oh my god, yes. Oh, time's turning right there. Tactical grade. Oh, just one point. You know what? With a lethal shot. With a lethal combo. HSCG KKL has been taken down. Moonfang, momentum. Win up nature. And the dawning light was out direction. Two junglers are down. We have one in the two. Here comes Nathan Ayami, the hero, the Filipino ancestor hero right now. Oh. Saving the day for the Giants. And here comes Phoebe as well, buying time mm. to avoid the Lord take from the Gentle Giants. Oh. You know, if the Dawning Light was on point, it could be a wipe out. Amor only has one HP. Oh no, Zujin! Oh, no. Electro final blow, BB against everybody. Not an Ami Nas. Landshaker did not connect at all. Yeah. Shinoa against Zujin for the artillery. Oh my god, what a game. The Filipino wrecking machine. Not Ayanami is here. Always wrecking out the members of OMG. Are you not entertained? entertained. Oh no. Oh, look at the entertainment from <laughs> Shinoa. Have. HP, mm. look at the damage. If Shinoa, oh no, got spotted. That's Bam. the ice coffee, dawning light, almost taking down Shinoa. Those are the threats. Shinoa is the key for Empress, and Sujin is the key for the Gentle Giants. Every they yeah. need to maximize those skills and really have a hundred percent accuracy into the top. Up top, Natanayami against you, dawning light. Oh no, that, that's gonna be the case. Salt melting, Lapu Lapu, mm. but still, Natanayami so hard and tanky yeah. to really survive. And now, the members of Diane trying mm. to maximize their number advantage to get the Lord. And now, look at that reverse time as well. The Mortal Coil with the anti crowd control, and also the Battle Seed Aspen Castle. Oh, you know what? Getting the turtle or the Lord Rather and Moonfang Rather had taken the Lord. Moonfang has been taken down. Mystic Villains available though. Merai, Merai, is that available anymore? Three members is down for the GGFE. No red three, no problem. Mm. That's gonna be the thought right now of Gentle Giants FE. After getting the Lord from Moonfang, unfortunately, they lost three on this situation. Can Sujin defend the base right now? Oh, because no. OMG is trying to push their way oh. for the victory. 20 seconds, the earliest time that those three members are gonna be the respawn. Here comes mm. Electro Final Blow trying to hurt Sujin a lot. Minions, but the super minions right now through the Lord oh. are hurting the Empress a lot. Dawning Light, Shinoa goes down, and here comes Anayami once again, trying to take down Amor. Amor into the uh, top lane and the Lord being capitalized by the Giants. Wow, oh. not Anami. 
the hero of all the heroes here. For a gentle giant Zappi, another purple got, pop steal. She got the, she got the purple pop. Yeah, Sujin again. That wombo combo combination. Momentum just to read them time. Not to read them up and Mary will survive. Oh. Time's turning as well. The Bandom Seed has been gassed. And now that Labu Labu will about to go down. Not Ayanami. Oh, this time. Oh my god. How much HP do you have? Not this, Ayanami! This is an immortal Filipino! If this is the Lapu-Lapu we've had during the Spanish invasion, we're not gonna be invaded by the Spaniards! We're the richest Filipino right now! And Sujin, this is like one, uh, one Filipino versus 30 Mexicans with that old video from YouTube! And now, OMG is now on the verge of gas royalty and getting another comeback victory against Central Giants FE! I, I actually hold my breath on that mm. situation yeah. Trying to tell everyone that finally an Ayami got shot down. But unfortunately, I, I don't know where she's getting those lives. Here yeah. we go. Electro final blow. Phoebe looking to reach out. Ice Cove into the back line. Trying to clear the minions as well to avoid a push. And Gentle Giants F, he capitalizes the number to get that push. Here comes the members of Omega. Trying to also get the map control. Technically, they still have this uh, uh, map control because of their turrets standing uh, with those base turrets still uh -huh. alive on their side. But in terms of confidence, it seems that Gentle Giants right now, they are confident to dive because of Anayami's space being yeah, provided. Not Ayanami's presence here is really like our, our call is a working orb here for the signs of Gentle Giants FE. And it's always a sign that they will go for a push. They will go for another um, day. They will live for another away against the OMG Empress. Even though OMG Empress is dealing a massive damage, oh, no, no. it's not enough. Counter out, Phoebe will be the target. Immortality is still intact though. So Phoebe knows how to, when and when, to use the eye for an eye. Look at the chase down. She's very slick here against the members of Gentle Giants yeah, FE. She's slippery. Uh, what I call this, um, all the members of Gentle Giants FE is just focusing OMG Empress member Phoebe to take down and to easily get an advantage yeah, for the isolation. Probably this is the advantage of Omega Empress, Phoebe's mobility. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. right now, the Lord was bursted down. Bye! Dawning Light! Oh my God! Another Dawning Light! But unfortunately, OMG managed to get oh the no. referee. And that's gonna be Ice Coffee going down. 5v4 situation plus a lore for OMG. What do you think, Ron? This could be the game ending push, uh, push for the OMG Empress. A handicap match defense against OMG will be a big casualty for a Gentle Giants FE. It's like Rey Mysterio versus Big Show. Yeah, look at the minor. That's, a, that's only a minor error, a split mm -hmm. second. That was bought by Phoebe. Yeah. The chase down. But the number was revealed mm. by Omega Empress. They all know members. That, that all of the members of the Gentle Giants FE are not positioned for the Lord. Mm -hmm. That's why the, through the Lunox, through the Lexi, it's very quick for the Gen, uh, Omega Empress to really burst down the Lord. Yeah, Mystic Field is here. Now let's wait for the setup. Not Ayanami taking so much damage. Ben's rage on time. Electro Final Blow ready. And now Lance Shaker, Phantom Seed is there. Yeah, Electro Final Blow trying to clear out the minion wage. Merai goes down. Here comes the Reject coming from Gentle Giants FE. Immortality pops out for Anayami mm. trying to clear out, but the last lift you know what gets the kill. Even keyboard trying to go for the tower lock. Mm. Omega Empress trying to equalize, and there you have it. We're oh. gonna slip 1 1 tonight. OMG getting back for a victory against the members of GGFE. Both of them are now on a 9 1 standing. No one gets home without a victory for these two teams. No one will slip winless. Mm. And lose less. Yeah. Ice coffee. Ice coffee with an icing on the cake. Mm. Uh, I uh, try and, of course, uh, to end it badly. They know the threat of uh, the savior. Yeah. Sujin deals massive damage with the dawning light. But unfortunately, the death of the Kadita right there mm -hmm. gave the space for Omega to really get this victory. If the Kadita is alive, the threat for the pick off, she could still get one mm -hmm. from the side of uh, the Omega Empress. It's just that no breath of ocean. Mm -hmm. No rough waves at all, even the petrified threat. Mm -hmm. That's why they're really open to do what they want, uh, including the Lord. Mm -hmm. I mean, remember, a level 3 Lord could end the game alone. Yeah, and imagine, um, Phoebe, um, they overcommitted on Phoebe that, uh, on yeah, that Phoebe. Uh, moment. Um, Phoebe was able to buy so much time and provided so much information. That's why the members of OMG easily went for the Lord objective. And that's why they easily um, converted it as well. Um, Carita of Ice Copy earlier, was not able uh, was not able to um at least pick up a survive um if i was on ice coffee if i was on the ice coffee situation i would just probably um get an information 
get a vision or not commit anymore because I'm. it's more important that I'll be alive especially for the yeah. Lord's defense. I, I think they want to actually correct those mistakes uh, that they had mm -hmm. uh, especially over committing to Phoebe. They tried hard to at least get the Lord yeah. uh, but unfortunately it's too late already. Having a Lunox, having a Leslie together with the Leum Ward on uh, the other side it's hard for you to, re uh, to get the Lord uh -huh. because it's very quick for them to really melt the Lord. Look at that. Do there are two BODs on Shinoa's side yeah. and this is a very good redemption for Amor. Uh, mm -hmm. We felt the presence of the Lunox. Yes, mm -hmm. she's not the one getting those kills, but those poke damage, she she's actually the, th the reason why they slowed down Anayami a little bit. Yeah. Yes, Anayami is like an immortal Filipino here, but still the threat for the Lunox. You could see she's no longer lasting longer inside a team fight because of the Chaos Assault. Same goes mm -hmm. with um, a Keyboard Warrior. Keyboard Warrior is a very crucial retry uh, holder. Uh -huh. uh, she could always press the retry time to time. Unfortunately, she's always dying early. Early because of the threat of that Lunox. She only has mm -hmm. that Regent Armor. Without an Athena Shield, yeah. there's still a penetration coming from Amor. Yeah, and she was also not respecting the capability of the true shot damage coming from Shinoa. Look at that anti Karas all alone. No physical dam uh, physical defense anymore. Using a BOD to get with the immortality, it's not enough to survive against Shinoa. That's why um when you are going to our Caucasus, um, um get us back onto that last um Lord objective or um second to the last Lord objective. Keyboard Warrior was taken down right away. Mm -hmm. It's because of the presence of Shinoa uh, taking the lead, using the lethal shot and the Master of Camouflage, dealing through damage against uh, um, against um, Amortis. And Zujin was trying to help out, but the tactical grenade was on point as well, avoiding the immobilization from that Mystic build for her to move freely around the map and chase down um, our call some Keyboard Warrior that time. And even though Keyboard Warrior was taken down, it was also impressive that Moonfang was able to get that Lord. Yeah, indeed, right. And uh, well, I think that's the only ma minor mistake uh -huh. uh, became major for the GGFE mm -hmm. losing this game. If they had position early on the Lord, yeah. that's not gonna happen. Exactly. That uh, uh, that quick Lord won't happen. Favor uh, favoring uh, Omega Empress. Yeah. But it's the name of the game. Uh, strategy. If you're, if the opposing team has the same talents, if the opposing team has the same mastery on their heroes, mm -hmm. you're gonna work with strategy and planning. And yeah. this time, it was all the plan of Omega working for them to win this game. Well, that's the story of the whole series. It was all high caliber teams that our calls that um, went toe to toe from arm um, to each other. Game one was on the our cause was on the comeback victory and the patience and again not Ayanami. That's why they chose it as a priority pick here on the game number two because the um, presence and also the perseverance of not Ayanami being the front line here um, is what our uh, um, is um, our call this um, is the one who gave way for them to get a comeback on this game Indeed. number two. Not Ayanami, not work anymore. S same goes with Phoebe. Uh, the aggression of Abdenedetta here uh, is there since she only died tw twice. Mm -hmm. So why not try it uh, to overextend, mm -hmm. right? And that's that gave them the space for our ZM Batik MVP, mm -hmm. which is Shinoa mm -hmm. with her Leslie. Look mm -hmm. at the items. 826 for the KDA. She has uh, that Wind Talker for, uh, for uh, her mobility and damage. Uh, Berserker's Fury, Double Blade of Despair and Endless Battle. And then she changed her boots uh, to an Athena shield yeah. to at least avoid that poisonous rough waves coming from the Kadita. Mm, to at least survive on that rough waves, if in case. And that is um, our call this one of the items that you must have on your uh, artillery here because uh, uh, Leslie is so vulnerable and so squishy that you can just uh, take her down easily using the Breath of Ocean and somehow a decimation coming from that, <laughs> excuse me, Martis. This time around, this um, Leslie of Shinoa also shot for a redemption for her Beatrix earlier. That's why she is the MVP of this game. Yeah, also. and wow, this is my favorite series so yeah. far. Um, unfinished business from the Gentle Giants FE and uh, the Omega Empress. Mm -hmm. uh, Omega Empress, um, probably they're not impressed with, the, uh, with their today's performance this, yeah. since they lost uh, through, uh, via comeback on the mm -hmm. game number one. Gentle Giants, of course, that's not pure luck on the game number one. They mm -hmm. use their resiliency, their uh, also uh, strategy for them to be able to get that game back. And mm -hmm. uh, for Omega, uh, game number two was a perfect initiated game, but you saw also the threat of Nat Anayami. So if you're gonna face each other again, mm -hmm. going to the playoffs you should have something on your pocket 
How are you gonna stop Anayami next time you're gonna face her? Mm -hmm. How are you gonna uh, stop Shinoa and Amor if you are the Gentle Giants going yeah. on your second match? Both of them have, uh, what I call this, have different um, advantages and disadvantages on this series. So that's why it's still an unfinished business. Um, it's um, gonna be better if we're going to see both of yeah, them on the I, I love I love to see this uh, matchup mm -hmm. on the playoffs. At least first round or second round, uh, yeah. I'm gonna be happy with that. But they deserve, of course, a win. Mm -hmm. right? They deserve these victories they had right now. And on their bracket, all of them has uh, that specific loss. Mm -hmm. I love the split. 8-1 mm -hmm. so, for their standing. Oh, no, 9-1 9-1 for their both standing, of both of them. Mm -hmm. So now, no one's undefeated anymore. No one's undefeated. Everyone is now officially um, has a mark of a loss on their standing. Mm. So let's have a recap on our whole day today. So our first series was uh, between Nice G and Lycan Esports. And again, the curse for Nice G is still there. Splitting the point against Lycan Esports. Lycan Esports was also dominating on the game number two. Yeah, PNX, uh, PNX Ray Zero and Valka Valkyrie, Elgandor Valkyrie for the game number two. Unfortunately, P uh, PNX Ray Zero, they already conceded the whole tournament and we're no longer gonna see them. Yeah, and now for the um, third series, Pylon Wings versus WP Vixen. Pylon Wings uh, tried to um, outpower or outmaneuver the WP Vixen on the game number two, but it was not enough. It's all about the communication coming from WP Vixen. Um, the high caliber presence as well is on the side of the WP Vixen, and they were able to get a 2 0 claim against Pylon Wings. On the last series tonight, it is wonderful. The best series mm -hmm. I know on Lakambini. Omega Empress uh, dominating the game number one. Unfortunately, with just minor mistake, Gentle Giants managed to pull off a comeback. Mm -hmm. Going into the game number two, that was a close matchup, but a split push coming from Phoebe changed everything, and Omega Empress closed the deal. Well, that's the whole series for today. Four series for you. So um, this is a, a full pack and a jump pack day. And all you guys are the winners on this. Yeah. All the viewers it's, are the it's winners. It's worth here. it to travel yeah. uh, from Pampanga to Cavite just to cast this game. Yeah. Because tomorrow, unfortunately, we're, gonna ha we're not going to have a match. Yeah. We're going to be back. On Wednesday, ladies and gentlemen, mm -hmm. December 21, uh, we're gonna have Envy Ferocia versus Celestial Acidy on the game number one, game number two, Invictus versus Gold Diggers. For the game number three, we have Metacore Safira versus Idina Sphinx. And for the fourth series, mm -hmm. it's the battle between GN Esports versus Ori K. Valkyrie. Battle for top seed mm -hmm. again on that specific bracket. Wow, what an interesting day that we're gonna wait on again Wednesday. Tomorrow is the rest day. Uh, you know, there are multiple Christmas parties right now around the yeah. street, around the corner. Yeah, uh, yeah. and um, um, your madam is here. Shout out to uh, my beautiful wife. Yeah. See you later. And yeah, and be, be shout out to my wife as well. Very beautiful, very supportive. Our, wi our, our wives are beautiful. What did, you what, uh, what did you tell to your wife? She's always watching. Uh, I think uh, my uh, son is the one who's watching right now. Oh, I see. Yeah. Because my wife, she she wanna always see me. Ah, uh, okay. Because um, I'm I always go home every day. Yeah. So that uh, that's your advantage actually. Yeah. You could travel every day. Every day. Um, I I may die if I'm gonna travel every day. Uh, if I have a jetpack seat here, I will just easily um um go home after um after our class. But of course, after our our call this after the um yeah. Leaks, for this um, uprising, Lakambini and another upcoming, we have. Yeah, we we still ha we're not yet done for uprising and mm. Lakambini, Lakambini, but we are already excited about the upcoming uh, annihilation season number four, the test for might, mm. four million prize pool. It is the biggest and grandest amateur league before, mm. but now we're gonna open it to all to all the experienced players. Ex-professional players, professional players and teams, and even amateurs. And of course, we're not going to forget about our grassroots talent. So, yeah. if you are interested to join this amazing tournament, you could inquire now to our Facebook page, Philippine National Esports League, for you to have a chance winning this 4 million prize pool. Well, this is something that um, you can brag about if you were able to join yeah. the relation. And imagine the pro level experience that you're going to get. And at the same time, there will be a lot of surprises, especially for playoffs. So yeah, so thank you so much to Philippine National Esports League being the home of the grassroots talents.
And of course, we would like to thank all the partners and sponsors as well that help us to make sure that this events and tournaments will be possible. First of all, we have Beer Factory Philippines, Luxury Health Sets and Cosmetics, Oasis Bar and Grill, Esports Academy of Asia Pacific, Cypher Philippines, Pop TV, Horizon Players Club, Artwork Production, and Daily Dose Vape Corporation. Siyempre, nandiyan din ang St. Vincent Blessed School of Manila Incorporated, Ebrio Beach Resort, Master Key Pares, Master Key Auto Detailing, Master Key Shomai, Pro Yabang Kaching Lifestyle, SN Group, and ZM Boutique. Ayun! At uh, siyempre, this tournament is also in partnership of the Asia League and Esports World Federation of the Philippines. And Pinel is monitored and supervised by the Gaming and Amusement Board. Wow! Grabe! Itong araw na to. What a play! What a play! Incandescence play! Yon, ganun kalupet yung ating araw na yon. At ganun kalupet at higpet yung ating laban sa papalapit na papalapit na playoffs natin. At pitpita na talaga at titigan ng sobra yung mga teams natin dito. Yeah, napakaganda ng mga laban ngayon. Uh, yung, pag, ito yung ano eh, pag nawawala so na ako ng... Sa position na! Nandito pag, ka pa rin! Uh, oh, nandito ka rin! <laughs> <laughs> eh, pero OG yun, OG yun ha. Oh. Ako, kin ano, kinilabutan ayun ako doon. Ayun lang ang pinanood ko talaga. Ayun yung pinaka ni... Ay yun ang pinaka nirespeto kong caster. Ayun, dalawang Ayan, yun. Oo, oh, yung dalawang yun. Ayan. So, pong season na, Bray, nandito ka pa rin? Nandito ka rin eh. <laughs> Kaka, ano yun ah. Oh. Pero, maraming maraming salamat po. Uh, Siyempre, uh, sa lahat ng Pinellians dyan, mm -hmm. magkikita-kita tayo sa Miyerkules. Thank you so much for your all, uh, for your support. Mm -hmm. And, uh, uh, Siyempre sa mga nakasama natin ngayong taon, mm -hmm. right? So may live pa naman tayo Miyerkules bago magpasko. Okay, Hindi pa kami magdadrama. Tama. Kami po ang inyong nakasama. O, oh, entry natin. Huwag muna. Huwag muna. Surprise natin sila. Surprise natin. Pero oh. uh, dito ka pa rin. Oo. Oh. <laughs> Oh, di ba? Oh, Sampun taon na. Sampun taon na. Dito ka pa rin. Sarap yata nun pag umaba na yung pinil. Oo, eh, oh, no? gaganunin ko. No? Sampun taon na tayo. Sampung season. Sampung season na nagbabakbakan. Oo. Oh. Oh. Kaya ang kaya eh. Ano ka pa rin? Ayun, oh. kaya ang kaya. Oh, kaya. Si Ryan Libre, i-shoutout lang muna natin Ay. bago matapos to. Kaya natin sa'yo. Nanonood lagi yan kahit nag-stream daw siya. Oo. Oh. Abangan nyo, Annihilation 4, gugulatin natin. <laughs> Mismo ang mainstream. Yeah! Daig pa natin yung panggugulat at pagayan ni Dikay Soto. Kung nung season 3 nahiya dahil sa comparison, totoo man pare, ang dami naging comparison noon sa Annie and MPL and uh, they always praised uh, Pinel. No? Totoo naman eh. What more? This upcoming season number 4, Google na Google Google Googlehin natin. Google natin natin ang lahat ng esports fans dahil hindi sila makapaniwala na ganito kabongga at kagrande ang Pinel. Tama. Magpapasabog kami sa inyo. Sa sobrang tindi ng pasabog namin. Pati si um, Osama, Bin Laden. Osama Bin Laden, babangon ho yan para batiin kami sa pasabog na dala namin. Ayan, so maraming maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. Walang sawang suporta on behalf of the Philippine National Esports League. Kami po ang inyong nakasama, ang inyong mga humble, Yun. guapo, at syempre, guapo ulit. Yun. Na Aster, Tupe, and Yako Rod. Yun, maraming salamat sa inyo. Siyempre, sumpun taon na, Bri. Nandito ka pa rin. Nandito ka rin. Ayan na, siyempre. Hindi tayo mag-iwahiwalay. Well, I'm Pinel. <laughs> Maraming salamat sa inyo at paalam.
reservations. Nobody stands in the way of my plans. I ain't got that kind of patience. The end of the week, I turn to a freak. Oh, 